And now, your first alert five weather. Happy Sunday. It is a cold start. And so now we are in the coldest 24 hours of our Arctic invasion. And right now we are dangerously cold. It's negative seven right now in Colorado Springs, but it feels like negative 26 because we have a little bit of a breeze. Uh, visibility reduced a bit because snow is actively falling. If you're driving today, you'll probably kick up some of that really lightweight snow and that could also reduce visibility. It's snowing quite nicely in Pueblo right now. Some bigger snowflakes than we've seen for most of this event. Negative two right now in Pueblo, but feels like negative 20 with that 11 mile per hour wind. So we'll probably have some more snow for the next about three to four hours. And we're finally starting to get some snow reports trickle on in. A Wolf Creek Pass at 29 inches. So that will be very, very hard to navigate here today. Monarch Pass has traction laws in place. Westcliff getting five and a half inches, three for Rye and Springfield, Beulah 2.8. Some totals here along I-25 and in the plains have been lower than forecast. We have had the widespread snow and we still have it this morning, but the intensity has been a little lighter than we initially expected. Nonetheless, expect snow covered roads as you head out this morning, especially along Highway 50 where it's actively still snowing. Uh, the snow bands are now moving into the central US and even impacting Dallas this morning. So we have the cold air in place across most of the country. Uh, the only lucky ones are Florida, of course. It's 80 degrees in Miami right now. Can you imagine? I cannot. Now, in terms of our temperatures for the next 24 hours, I think we'll break some records. For the springs, the low maximum temperature record is at five. I've got a forecast of one today. Negative eight is our overnight low record for Monday morning. I think we'll break that. Pueblo, I think we'll also break today's low maximum record of eight. I don't think we'll break tonight's low. Thank goodness we're not getting to negative 23. And now highs today are going to only be in those single digit values, teens into the mountains. And we have those wind chill advisories still in place. And it's really today that these are going to be most important to take advantage or to make sure to take heed of. Do not go outside when these wind chills are below negative 50, 15 to negative 35. That's where frostbite can happen within 30 minutes. And those will be the conditions all day today for Colorado Springs into the overnight getting really close to that negative 30 zone in areas like Lamar, where we are under a wind chill warning in the eastern plains. That's where we get dangerously cold tonight into that negative 30 range as well for quite a few hours. So here's those lows overnight. A couple of negative 20s like in Lamar and Eads down to negative 13 in Pueblo, negative 14 in the Springs. By tomorrow, we'll thaw out a little bit, but staying below freezing through at least Tuesday, staying chilly Wednesday, Thursday, and then finally getting more comfortable by the end of the week. Uh, but we're going to just have to deal with this high impact cold for a few more hours. So just hang in there. We're almost through with it, but we are going to have another round of snow come Tuesday night into Wednesday. Canyon City. I also expect that light snow for you, uh, but temperature wise, we're going back to freezing or above freezing as soon as tomorrow. So thawing out nicely in Canyon City for Woodland Park, though, we're going to stay pretty cold throughout the entire week until Friday. That's when we can finally maybe shed that winter coat. Wow. Alex, you know what I saw on the way to work yesterday and it made me do a double take? What? Oh my goodness, this woman was jogging. I don't understand. And I, you know, if we weren't in a pandemic, I'd probably pull up next to her and be like, can I take you back to your house? It's just <laughs> too cold. Did you see anyone out and about yesterday? No, because as soon as I was done with work, I went home and I stayed inside. Man. I cannot believe that. Well. I hope you don't make those decisions today. And if you just have to get out, wear several layers, cover every piece of skin. That's a good idea. You heard it from the expert. All right, <laughs> Alex, thank you. Coming up next in 